All right, uh, image decryptor. I have not looked at this before now. Move each data cube to the left, the number of tiles listed on each cube. And then walk out of the room. This doesn't look difficult because there's someone in front of each of the data cubes. And because I thought maybe it'd get confusing trying to figure out how to move ones and not move them again. So I guess I'm going to... Yeah, this looks easy because uh, maybe I'm missing something, but they're all standing in front of the cube. So we'll step forward to the left. We will pick up the cube. I didn't mean to pick up drop. Uh, we will pick up the cube below us. We will write that into memory. And then none of them are zero, so we can just immediately step forward check to see if the memory is zero yet. If it's zero, we've, uh, we need to, we need to uh, subtract one from it. If it's zero or well actually we can say if it's not zero because this is a human resource machine so then that worker should be done moving that cube and should drop it and then they should step to the nearest See how that. I think you have to. Put this in mem2 just because. And that worker should be done. <laughs> so if every worker runs this program, so we'll, we'll just pick one at random and see how they're doing. They're going to pick it up. Right in a memory, they should be three there. Yep. Subtract two. Step again. Drop it. And then Yeah, that puzzle seems surprisingly easy, but I guess that's it. I'm not going to work on optimizing it right now. Thanks for watching.